This is a continuation of the previous problem, probability of returning to starting point. In the preceding problem, suppose that P is equal to Q, so that each step is equally likely to be to the right or to the left. What is the probability that the man will again be at the lamp post? So again be at the lamp post after taking n steps if n is even, if n is odd. Okay, so uh, we basically have talked about the m value. So if you remember, m was the difference between n and n prime. Um, so going back to the previous problem, I take steps with equal uh, width l um, either to the right or to the left. And I have defined the number of steps to the right as n and number of steps to the left as n prime and the difference is m. So basically saying that the, the, the man returns back to the uh, starting point, the origin implies that we're looking for m is equal to zero probability. So uh, since p and q are equal, they must be equal to uh, 1 over 2 equally likely uh, to have a step to the right or to the left and um, if we go back to uh, the starting point we would have uh, the m value the total displacement which is m times l would be equal to n minus n prime number of steps to the right minus number of steps to the left times l because each step is um, l and this must be equal to zero so n must be equal to zero and you can also say that the number of steps to the right and number of steps to the left is equal to the total number of steps n and n must be equal to n prime, which is capital N divided by 2. So we're looking for this condition. So using the uh, probability of having an m value, uh, this was um, n factorial, capital N factorial, divided by n plus m over 2 factorial n minus m over 2 factorial and p to the n plus m over 2 q to the n minus m over so, so this was our result from the previous problem. So now I have uh, m is equal to 0 and therefore uh, for m equals, equals to 0 this is going to be p prime m is equal to 0 is n factorial n over 2 factorial capital N over 2 factorial and P is 1 over 2 so it is 1 over 2 to the power N over 2 and Q is 1 over 2 so it's 1 over 2 to the power N over 2 so this would give us uh, as the answer capital N factorial capital N over 2 factorial square 1 over 2 n over 2 plus n over 2 gives us n 1 over 2 to the power n so this would be our answer Uh, you could have obtained the same answer uh, using the n distribution uh, so probability of having an n value remember was given by 
number of uh, total number of steps by capital N. So we need to choose n of those steps. So number of combinations of capital N objects taken n at a time. Uh, p to the n q to the n prime so this was our distribution for n where n prime was capital n minus n and so you have if n is equal to capital n over 2 p and q are equal to one half n prime is equal to capital n over 2 you can verify that you will get the same answer so this would become uh, once again capital N factorial n minus n so it would be n minus n over 2 factorial n over 2 factorial uh, 1 over 2 to the power n over 2 and 1 over 2 to the power n over 2 so that gives you exactly the same result um, n factorial divided by n over 2 factorial square 1 over 2 to the power n because n over 2 plus n over 2 is n, the same answer so let's say here alternatively so that basically this is an alternative uh, solution using n distribution instead of m distribution now part b says uh, this is so part a was for n even so you can see that if n is even uh, you can divide n by 2 you will get an integer value so this is going to work so this is for n even so in part b n is odd now if n is odd uh, the m value which is n minus n prime can never be zero let's find out how that works for example uh, if i have n equals to five that means five steps to the right then you can see that for n to be odd I can have n prime equals to 4 that is 4 steps to the left which gives me a total number of steps n plus n prime to be 9 that is odd but it would also give me m value of 1 which means the the man is never back to the starting point so the conclusion is that the probability distribution uh, for m equals to 0 the probability of having an m equals to 0 value is going to be 0 for an odd because if you have an odd number of steps the number of steps to the right and number of steps to the left can never be equal okay so we are referring uh, to the problem we had before this is a man that is starting out from a lamp post in the middle of a street taking steps of equal length l uh, the probability of taking steps to the right is p and to the left is q for each step and the total number of steps is capital N we call N number of steps to the right and prime number of steps to the left and we found that if we define the difference between N and N prime N minus N prime is the net number of steps to the right if you wish uh, the probability of having an N value is the same thing as probability of having an N value because M is 2N minus capital N where capital N is a constant so it's just uh, if you have an n value you have a one-to-one -one correspondence so have an n value then you have a corresponding n value so this is our result that we have obtained from the previous problem now 
um, if P and Q are equal, they're one half, and the total displacement is zero, uh, that means we're back to the uh, original position, M must be zero. And N plus N prime is capital N, N and N prime should be capital N over two. So this is also telling you that N must be even. Uh, so that's what we are after in part A. If N is even, what is the probability of returning? So probability of having an M value, we substitute M equals zero, N equals N over two, N prime equals N over two, P and Q are one half, we obtain N factorial divided by N over two factorial squared, one over two to the power M. As I said, since the probability distribution of uh, M and N are the same, so M is uh, 2N minus capital N, so there is a corresponding value of M. So N, if you put a value of N0, you will get a value of M0. If you put a value of N1, you get a value of M1. One-to-one -one correspondence, so the probability distribution is the same. So alternatively, we could use probability of having an N value equals capital N over 2, which gives the same result. If n is odd, once again, since n and n prime can never be capital N over 2, the total number of steps odd implies the total displacement can never be 0. So uh, the minimum you can obtain is m equals to 1. So that means the probability of having an m equals 0 value is 0 for n odd.